Hi, welcome to Cardio Tennis at Home Power Edition. I'm Ian Vigian, this is IV Tennis Coaching, and today we've got a lot of plyometric and strength exercises that will help improve your power on your tennis shots and your movement on the courts. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Let's grab our rackets and start our warm up. So we're going to start very slow today to make sure all our bodies warmed up, ready to work. So we're going to grab our tennis racket, hold it at each end, and we're just going to very slowly move it around our heads. And this is really good for warming up our shoulders and we're getting those shoulder joints moving. And now we're going to go down and we're going to make it a whole body stretch. So you're going to have your feet a little bit further apart and you're going to bend all the way down in a big circle all the way back up and then go back the other way. Fantastic. Good job. Right, let's put the racket to the side for a second. And now we're just going to march on the spot. So just marching on the spot, bring those knees up, rotating those arms forwards. We're going to do a lot of work with our arms today, so we want to make sure we've got everything warmed up. And then we can go backwards as well. Those arms going backwards. Good job. Fantastic, they're just jogging on the spot. So jogging on the spot. Start moving those arms as well. That's it, it's getting those knees a little bit higher each time. Pumping those arms. Good, and then we're gonna just do some straight leg skipping. So you're gonna go forwards and back. On the balls of your feet. Keeping those legs nice and straight. Very good. Now we're going to do some bunny hops. So you're going to put your feet together, you're going to bunny hop forwards, bunny hop backwards. So you don't want to have your toes on the ground for very long at all. As soon as you land, you want to push up again. So you have forwards and back, forwards and back. Great. Again, now we're going to some high knees. it and a little bit higher those knees even higher up those arms as well that's it now we're going to shuffle from side to side so you want to move sideways now when we're doing our exercises when I'm talking I want you to keep jogging on the spot so you keep your heart rate up and you keep your body, body nice and loose. Okay. Fantastic. So keep jogging on the spot. And we're going to go into our power circuit. And I want you to keep jogging on the spot to keep your heart rate up and your muscles nice and loose. So I'm going to give you uh, four exercises to do. You're going to do an exercise for 30 seconds and then we'll move on to the next exercise. For each exercise, I'm going to give you three options. Level one's the easiest, level two's medium, level three's the hardest. And you pick the level that's right for you and you go at your own pace. If you can go faster than me, that's brilliant. If you go a little bit slower than me, that's also fine. If you want to hit the pause button at any point, you can. Make sure you press play again and come back to that exercises. All right, so. The our first exercise is the icky shuffle. So you're going to need two shoes. Keep jogging on the spot, guys. You're going to put them a foot away from each other. Level one, you go two foot in, one foot out, nice and slowly. Level two, you go that little bit quicker. Level three, you get some weight. So I've got a couple of books here. Like that. Okay, off we go. So pick the level that's right for you. So I'm going to go level two today. Try and get those knees up nice and high. This is really good for when you're on the baseline. And you've got to get across as fast as you can to get to that tennis ball. Really good explosive movement. That'll help you get to those 
balls you couldn't have got to before. Last couple of seconds, guys. Fantastic, hold it there. Right, next time, we're gonna stand feet, bit wide and shoulder width apart, into a half squat. Level one, you swing your arms up and then through your legs. Level two, get a rucksack and throw it up high and then back between our legs. Level three, get some books, put them in your rucksack and then swing that. Okay, on your marks, get set, let's go. So in my half squat, swing it up to so shoulder height. So you want to bend down and as you bring the arms up, squeeze your bum. Really good for the glutes. Really good explosive movement. Doing really well guys. Keep pushing. Really good for building a strike, strong foundation through the legs. Well done. Right. Okay, next one we're gonna get our shoes again. Gonna put them out a little bit wider. This is our skater step. So level one, step to the side and touch. Level two, I want you to jump to the side and touch. Level three, you do it with your weights. Okay? Right. On your marks, get set, let's go. So I'm gonna go level two again. Now it's really important when you're doing these, you keep your balance and you, this is really good kind of explosive exercise. You jump from one side to the other and then you gotta control your body. It's good for when you get to the, the ball and you still gotta hit it. Okay, a few more seconds, keep going. Keep going guys, last four. Well done, right, okay. Our next one, with level one, just gonna do a squat. Make sure those knees go out, like that. Level two, grab a, a light weight, like your racket, you wanna pick it up, raise it above your head. Level three, get your heavy weight, and pick it up over your head. So pick the level that's right for you, go your pace. Off we go. Should we get a good squat in that first one? Get down nice and low. So you're moving at your, at your knees, you're not hinging at your waist. All right, doing really well guys. That's it, we're gonna have a little break after this. Then we'll do another set of four different exercises. Good job. Well done. Okay, so you're jogging on the spot. If you want to get a drink, it's a good time to get a drink. Yeah, if you need to pause the video anytime, that's fine. Make sure you press play again and finish that set. Okay, when I'm talking, make sure you keep jogging on the spot, keep yourself nice and loose, keep that heart rate up. Okay, so the first exercise of this next set we're going to do a backwards lunge for level one. Okay, level two, when you get to that backwards lunge, you're going to do two overhead presses. Okay, and level three, if you're feeling hardcore, you do your jump lunge and then your overhead press. Okay, pick the level that's right for you. Off we go. One, two, one, two, one, two. It's really good for building up that strength in those quad muscles. Really good for sprinting. And when you go to hit that tennis ball, really good if you can drive with your legs as well. Get that extra power through the shots. Well done, right. Jogging on the spot. Next one is our wood chop. We're going to do 15 seconds, going this way, level one. Then 15 seconds going this way, level two. You go one piece of weight across, and then the other side, level three. Get heavier weight, go across your body. Okay, make sure you go your pace, 
You can do as many as you can do. It's all about setting your personal best today. So, are we ready? Off we go. To get those nice wide base, I squat down, and it's really important when you pull down, that you can also stop the racket as well. So you're working your lats as well when you're pulling down, and then you've got to stop the racket and change sides. Good job, guys. Pull down as fast as you can. Make sure you've got loads of space. Especially if you've got low ceilings, watch out on this one. Fantastic, right. Next one, level one. Just do a squat and then go onto your toes. Squat, onto your toes. Make sure you're still jogging on the spot while I'm doing this. Level two, I'm gonna go down, jump up, and then back down again. Level three is you gotta do a tuck jump. So you go down for a squat, come up, and tuck your legs up as well, okay? You pick the level that's right for you. Do as many as you can do. Off we go. Good job. Make sure you sink down nice and low. Squeeze your bum as you come up. Reach as high as you can. Feel that lactic acid. Starting to build. Good job, guys. Nearly there. Good job, one more. Well done, jogging on the spot. Now we're going to go to a bent over row. So you're going to go to a half squat position. Keep your back nice and straight. Put your thumbs up and squeeze your shoulder blades. Level one. Okay. Level two. Use a racket with a light weight. When you do it, just squeeze those shoulder blades. Level three. Get yourself a heavier weight and use that. Off we go. So, make sure you've got a nice wide base. Imagine you've got an orange between your shoulder blades and you're squeezing those shoulder blades. It's really good for things like you serve, you have a good kind of upper body range of motion, good for your shoulders. Also, the half squat works your glutes at the same time, where you've got a nice strong power base. Well done. Okay, jogging on the spot guys. We've earned our rest there. So, if you wanna get a drink, keep jogging on the spot. Doing really well, so we're gonna do the whole set again. So we're gonna do our four exercises, have a little rest, another four exercises. Then when I'm talking, you wanna keep yourself moving. So keep yourself uh, jogging on the spot. Okay, so remember our first one is our icky shuffle. So, shoes, Foot apart, level one, nice and slow. Level two, go quicker. Level three is with your weight. Okay, on your marks, get set, let's go. So you want to get as low as you can and go as fast as you can go. So what about you setting your personal best? Make sure you do as well as you can do. Yeah, get those knees up nice and high, really helpful. You've got to chase down that tennis ball when you get back on court. Be really, really fast. Doing really well, guys. A few more seconds. Brilliant. Okay, right, well, our next one. Level one, yeah, swing through your legs. Level two, with your rucksack. Level three, put some weights into your rucksack. Okay, on your marks, get set, let's go. Make sure you've got a nice wide base. Now bring that rucksack up to shoulder height. You just bend down, squeeze your glutes as you're bringing that arms with your rucksack up. We wanna try and challenge ourselves. Maybe one of these exercises, get that a little bit harder or Go to another level. Just try and push yourself that little bit more each time. Doing really well, last second. Fantastic, right. Next one is our skater steps. So, level one, just step and touch. Level two, you jump to the side with a touch. Level three, touch with your weight. 
Okay, off we go. So, really good for your dynamic movement. If you can, get nice and low and be as quick as you can between your touches. Try and get as many touches in as you can. Doing really well. Keep pushing yourself. Just do one more than you did last time. That's all you've got to do, just one more than last time. Well done. Right. Our next one is our squats and rise. So, level one, touch the floor and bring it up. Level two, with your racket. Level three, with your heavy weight. On your marks, get set, let's go. So bring it up. And then down, so make sure you squat down, make sure those knees going out, and you get a little nice extension right at the top. Really good. If you're going for a harder level this time, make sure you finish the set. You'll feel amazing. The last few seconds, got a break now. Good job, well done. Keep jogging on the spot. You do really well there. This is our break. So if you want to get a drink, get a drink. Good job. Remember to keep yourself nice and limber. Make sure you keep um, yourself with your heart rate up. So when I'm talking, you're still moving. Okay. Right. So our first exercise of this set is our lunge. So you're going to do a backwards lunge for level one, level two, backwards lunge, two overhead presses. Back and lunge to overhead presses. Level three, do our, do our split lunge with our overhead press. On your marks, get set, let's go. So make sure you keep your shoulders nice and straight, looking into the distance. Doing really well, guys. You can feel it in your quad muscles. So build that strength when you get back onto that tennis court and you're able to chase down those like balls really fast. Good job, last few. And hold it there, great job. Right, next one, wood chop. Level one, without any weight. Level two, with a little bit of weight. Level three, double weight. Okay, on your marks, get set. Let's go. So you've got a nice wide base. You put it up and then stop in your racket. This is really good for your serve. You have to have fast, quick shoulder action. Okay, swap sides now. So bring it up and then pulling it down across your body. Doing really well, guys. Just got to do one more than last time. Brilliant, good job. Now, next one, I'm going to squat for level one. Level two, we do our squat and jump. Level three, squat, tuck, jump. Okay, you pick the level that's right for you and you go at your pace. Okay, on your marks, get set, let's go. Your sure those elbows are going out. Sorry, not the elbows, your knees. <laughs> and then make sure if you are jumping, go as high as you can. If you do level one, after you've done your squat, just go onto your toes, like that. Get a nice range of movement. Doing really well. Keep going. Fantastic. Right, last one, bent over rows. So half squat, back straight, thumbs pointing up and squeeze your shoulder blades. Level two, with a racket. Level three, with a heavy weight. Okay, off we go. So, she got a nice wide base, bend those knees, keep your back nice and straight. And you wanna make sure you're squeezing your shoulder blades, you know, moving your biceps too much, it's all in your shoulders. That's what we want today. The last of the shoulders. Whew. Keep going guys. 
Doing really well. Nearly there. Imagine how great you're going to be on the tennis court after this. Well done. Hold it there. Keep jogging on your spot. Have a little drink if you want to drink. We're going to move on to our next challenge. Well done. This is our resistant racket challenge. Now jogging on the spot. And I want you to introduce you to the latest member of our coaching team. This is Reggie. So I've got a t-shirt, I've got a little hairband on top, and I'm gonna put it over my racket, and I'm gonna hold it at the bottom here. And we're gonna go do 30 seconds swinging. Our forehand first, then our backhand, then an overhead smash. And the t-shirt is gonna stop the air and make a bit of resistance for us, to make it a little bit harder. Then we have a break, then we're gonna try without the swings without the resistance. Okay, so keep jogging on the spot. So you go forehand, backhand, overhead smash. On your marks, get set, let's go. So as quickly as you can, do as many as you can. So you go forehand, backhand, smash as you drive with your legs. So we're doing all that work in that power circuit for, so you've got plenty. Powering those legs, pushing through the shot. Yeah, pushing through. Do really well. Keep that resistance going. Last few, last few. See if we can get one more circuit in. Hey, well done. Right, 30 seconds rest. Just jogging on the spot. We're gonna take the t-shirt off. Now we're gonna do it without the t-shirt. It's just gonna feel really weird. It's gonna feel really easy actually. So make sure you hold on to that racket. Otherwise it might go flying. And we're going to see if we can do it more without the t-shirt than we did with the, with the t-shirt. Okay, so, are you ready? On your marks, get set, let's go. Let's go, forehand, backhand, smash. Feels really weird without the t-shirt. You're driving your legs. I've got lots of space. Good, keep going guys, keep going. I'm gonna go the other way now. You go any way you want. Make sure you get maximum velocity as you can. Well done guys, that was great. Okay, keep jogging on the spot. Keep jogging on the spot. Now we're on to our weekly challenge and this week it's the YWTA challenge. So you're gonna stand with your feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna make a Y position with your thumbs pointing back and your chest going forward. Like this, you're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. Then we can make a W and hold that for 10 seconds. Then we make a T, hold that for 10 seconds. And then we make an A and we hold that for 10 seconds. That's level one. If you wanna do level two, if you wanna get down on your front and you go Y, W, T and A on your front. Again, it makes that a little bit trickier. Okay, so on your marks, get set. Let's go, so go on positions. So you wanna make sure your, your arms going, thumbs are going backwards. And right, off we go, so you have your chest nice and proud, looking into the distance. That's it, just keep holding it. Right, so now into our W's. So keep pushing your chest out. You should feel it in your shoulder blades here. You know, thumbs pointing backwards. Good, now we're onto our T's. Thumbs pointing up this time. So keep that chest forwards, looking into the distance. Keep your chin up, doing really well. Now onto A. So you wanna have your hands right behind you, thumbs pointing forwards this time. So pushing your chest out, looking into the distance. Do the job, back to our W's. The chest going out, keep holding it. Keep holding it, do really well. And then to W's, this is our last 10 seconds. Really hold it there. Keep our core and muscle engaged. Do really well. Oh, fantastic, well done. Oh, shake that out, shake that out. Oh, blimey. Okay, onto our cool down. So just keep jogging on the spot. 
keep jogging on the spot. And I just want you to keep those arms rolling, do a lot of work with our shoulders today and our back. So we've got to move those, just get any little bit of lactic acid out there. Do really well. Again, I'm getting those arms going backwards now. Yes, you hope you feel the benefit when you get back onto that tennis court. Get yourself in that ball a little bit harder, chasing down some of those tough balls that you weren't making before. Okay, now we're going to a calf stretch. So we're going to do a calf stretch with our straight back leg, and then we're going to open out the chest like this. Keep your head up, looking into the distance. That's it. Feel it in the calf muscle as well. To cross the top half of your top half of your torso. Okay, then we change over. So you have the other leg pushing back. So now your left leg's pushing back. And we're gonna get our arms in front of us this time, interlace our fingers, and then you just push forwards, feel it between those shoulder blades. It's a nice deep stretch. Good job. Well done. Right. And now we're going to go into a hamstring stretch. So you're going to put your right leg straight, left leg bent. Keep your, your hands on your bent leg. That's it, just hold it for a few seconds. That's it, change over. Well done. Get that left leg straight now, hands on your bent leg. Stick your bum out, your feet are down the back of that straight leg now. Okay, we're going to go to our quad stretch. Keep your knees together, hips going forwards. If you overbalance, try holding your other ear with your free hand. And for some reason, that, that really helps. <laughs> so you want to really push those hips forwards. We did a lot of work with our, with our glutes today and our quad muscles, so we're going to give those a good stretch. That's it, let's change legs. So knees together, hips pushing forwards. Holding on to our other ear if you need to. That's it. Fantastic. Now we're going to put one leg above your, your knee. So I'm going to put my left leg in a figure four above my knee. You're going to sit down. It's really good for your IT band and your glutes. Just going to hold that for a few seconds. Well done. Then swap over. So for your right knee, sorry, your right leg above. Your left knee, just sit down into that squat. Feel that stretch. That's it. Well done. And then we're gonna just gently rotate our body. So just going a little bit further, just to stretch our back that little bit more. Just going a little bit further each time. That's it. Then back to centre, bring our left arm across our body and then pull it towards us, you feel a stretch in here. That's it. Well done, then swap over. You feel it down this part of our body. Did really well today, that was a good session. Got lots of power in there, right. Okay, then we're gonna do a tricep stretch. Put your hand between your shoulder blades and pull your elbow back so you feel it down this part of our body. That's it. Okay, and swap over so your other hand goes behind your shoulder blades. Push it forwards. Well done, last one. Give yourself a big hug, chin to your chest, take a deep breath. Big deep breath. Swap over. Deep breath. Activity completed. Fantastic. Great job. Well done. If you enjoyed today's session, why don't you give us a like? Also, if you subscribe to our channel, you'll be able to see all the videos as we put them up. We hope to see you soon.